Through this video, you will learn Overview of a BAP program that calls the external API How to check the log in the transaction SMICM How to download the certification from the website How to import the certification by the transaction S Trust How to restart ICM Hello From now on I would like to introduce the way to solve the error of SSL handshake. By using the sample ABAP program that calls external API, and gets the weather data. The solution of this problem is to import the suitable certification by using the transaction S Trust. Before doing that, let me explain the contents and behavior of the sample program. This is the URL for API. It is using a BAP string template. City name and API key are replaced by each variant. And the URL is using HTTPS protocol. This part is creating the HTTP client object by the class CL HTTP client. In this case, it is creating it by using URL. By the method create by URL. You can also create it by using the destination in the transaction SM59 by the method create by destination. Here, it is sending the request and receiving the response, by using send and receive methods of the created client object. If receiving the response from API is finished successfully, it will show the HTTP status code, status reason, whole response data, and the weather data of specified city. To get the specific data of response, in this case, weather description of response JSON data, I am using slash UI2 slash CL data access. For this, it was necessary to implement SAP Note 252-6405 in my case. One more thing that you should care is the array number. The first entry of array is 1 in this object, although normally it is 0 in many languages. That's why I am using weather1 to get the first entry of array data. If receiving the data is failed, this form is called and write the error message. Let's execute this program. The error was issued. It is saying that SSL handshake to the target API is failed. This is because the certification of target URL is missing. Let's execute again, with deleting S from protocol. This time, it was succeeded. It means that if you use HTTP, it is possible to get the data without error, and if you use HTTPS, you will get the error of SSL handshake. Change the protocol to HTTPS again. As expected, the error was issued. Let's check this error in the transaction SMICM. Select the menu Go To, then Trace File, and Display End. Like this, the error can be found. Now, let's get the certificate. To do this, go to the home page of Target API. In this case, open Weather Map home page. By the way, 
I am using Google Chrome. Here, open the developer tool of Chrome by right click and select inspect, or from the menu, settings, then more tools and developer tools. Then, select the security tab. Push view certificate. Select Details tab, and push Copy to File button. Go further by pushing Next buttons twice. By the way, I chose DER encoded format that is the default option. Specify the name of the file you want to export the certificate. Then, push finish. That's all about downloading the certificate of this home page. Although the exact URL of API is differ from the one of this home page, it was no problem in my case. Back to SAP system and go to the transaction S trust, in order to import the certificate that was downloaded just a little while ago. Double click on the entry under SSL client, standard. Push the button Import Certificate. Then, select the certificate file that was downloaded just a little while ago. And push the Continue button. File was imported. Now change to the edit mode, and then push the button add to certificate list. In the window of certificate list, you can confirm that open weather map is listed like this. Save this setting by pushing save button here. Confirm again that Open Weather Map is listed under SSL Client, Standard. Then, Go to the transaction SMICM in order to restart ICM. It might not be necessary to restart ICM, but I am doing it for just in case. I recommend that you check the behavior of program whether it still issues the certificate error, before restarting ICM. Click on the refresh button to check the current status. It seems to be restarted. If you cannot get the running status by the refresh button even after several minutes, try to execute the transaction again, I encountered the such case. Now, go back to the program and execute it again. Then check whether the error is solved or not. The error is disappeared and it gets the data from API correctly. If you still get the error, it might be the problem of internet connection. In that case, check the proxy setting in the transaction SICF, like this. And then, Go to the transaction SC38, execute the program SAP HTML Demo 1 to check whether the system can connect to the target website.
Thank you very much for watching this video. Please check my other videos and subscribe this channel, if you like.